What's up guys, it's me, Blades, and today I want to talk about the game that has the potential to affect the player metrics of both Counter-Strike and Overwatch. But before I get to my own personal opinions on Riot Games' new competitive shooter Valorant, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for content related to the game. I want to start with how Riot decided obtaining the game would work. Currently, the only way to gain access to the closed beta of the game is to watch popular Twitch streamers who have Twitch drops enabled play it. I was lucky enough to secure a drop pretty early on because I just left my computer running and I got lucky, so I wanted to voice my thoughts on the early stages of the game. Valorant plays a lot like Counter-Strike with abilities from Overwatch. Even in closed beta, I think the game plays extremely well. It feels almost exactly like CSGO, and most of the abilities in the game don't really interfere with gunfights at all. I think even in its current state, this game has the potential to wipe the Counter-Strike competitive scene off the map. In just two days, the game has amassed over 1.2 million concurrent viewers on Twitch, while Counter-Strike has hovered just under 100,000. While this doesn't mean all, all that much because Valorant is a new game, I feel like it is something to consider. I think Riot really has an ability to innovate something truly creative and groundbreaking in the gaming community with Valorant, and so far, I think they're doing an amazing job at it. This game is for the most part balanced and I don't feel like one gun or one character is the be-all end-all solution to winning games. However, getting brimstone ulted or hit by a raised grenade can be kind of frustrating, and I think some abilities do need nerfing like those too. But to answer the question in the title, yeah, I, I do think Valorant will kill Counter-Strike. That doesn't mean I think people will lose their passion for Counter-Strike and quit playing the game altogether, but if Valorant stays on its current trending path, I highly doubt com a competitive environment for Counter-Strike will continue to exist. But that, that's really all I have to say, you know? There's still so much we don't know about the game, and even though I have sunk 10 hours into it since I got it on drop, I, I, I don't feel like I know enough to s say a lot of big opinions on it, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But thanks for watching, and in the future, I'll be uploading videos about each individual character in Valorant and explaining their abilities and tips on how to play them, after I figure out how to play them. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and like it. And keep staying quarantined. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out. Hi, what's up? It's editing me. Yo. Um, if you want to see me play Valorant more, like like in this video that's playing over my voice or my voice is playing over, you should come to my stream. Links in the description. Description. The links in the description. Come watch. We we have a lot of fun. You know? We we have a we have a lot of fun. Peace out.